What's up everyone, it's mango season in Thailand. So my wife Dawn is going to make one of Thailand's most famous desserts, mango with sticky rice. And my mango tree has grown more mangoes than ever before. Making mango with sticky rice is really easy and I'm going to show you how she makes it right now. Dawn is going to make traditional mango and sticky rice. So she'll be using some traditional Thai cookware like the steaming vessel and this bamboo steamer as well as this steaming cloth. You can skip this by using an electric rice cooker. So if you want to go the traditional route, I'll link these items on amazon.com below so you can pick them up. Okay, to get started, we need 400 grams of sticky rice. Wash and rinse the rice several times until water runs clear. You must soak the rice overnight. This is a very important step. Fill the steamer pot 3 quarters full, then grab a whole pandan plant, tie the leaves up into a ball, and drop it into the steamer. Put the bamboo basket on top and line it with the cooking cloth. Put the uncooked sticky rice and cover the top with the cloth and put a plate on top to trap the steam. Steam the rice for 25 to 30 minutes. Remember to toss the rice around every 10 minutes to ensure even steaming. Now we prepare a sweet coconut cream sauce flavored with pandan, a lot of sugar, and a little bit of salt. We're going to soak our sticky rice with this. We start off with 400 grams of coconut milk. We boil it on low heat with an entire pandan plant. Then add 200 grams of sugar. Cook until the sugar is completely dissolved and also steep the pandan leaves for about 8 to 10 minutes. Strain the sweetened coconut cream. Don recommends making the sweet coconut cream right before the sticky rice is cooked because you have to fold the sticky rice into the coconut cream while it's still hot. Add a few large spoonfuls of sticky rice into the hot coconut cream at a time. You don't want to rush this. You want each grain of sticky rice to absorb that sweet, delicious pandan flavored coconut cream. It's going to look very wet at first. Cover the coconut cream soaked sticky rice with plastic and let it rest for 30 minutes before eating. Just remember to stir the sticky rice every 10 minutes. Each time you mix, you will see the sticky rice become more dry. Talk about coconut overload. Yes, there is a sauce that goes on top of the mango and sticky rice. But this coconut sauce is not sweet at all. It's salty, but it gives a good contrast of flavors with the sweet sticky rice and mango. Put 100 grams of coconut milk into a saucepan with one teaspoon of salt plus half a teaspoon of cornstarch. Boil on low heat. The cornstarch is going to thicken up this sauce. When it does thicken up, just turn up the heat and set the pan aside. So mung beans is a popular topping for mango and sticky rice. But this is purely optional because I know if you buy this, there's a big chance you won't be using a whole bag of mung beans. But if you really want to go traditional, you need this. All you need is a half a cup fried in some oil until slightly brown. Alternatively, you can steam it on top of the sticky rice. Don just forgot to do this. What an amateur. Now, it's time to put it all together. Peel the skin and then dip the flesh in a bowl of water with a teaspoon of salt. This will prevent the mango flesh from discoloring. Put as much sticky rice as you want on a plate with half a diced mango. Drizzle with coconut sauce and top with mung beans. Enjoy this delicious Thai treat at home. As you can see, it's so easy to make. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends. Thai mango with sticky rice is very easy to make. I hope you make it for your family and I know they will enjoy it as much as my family enjoys it. So take care and goodbye.